people will drive past and go, what is that? Is that an old Porsche or an old Ferrari or something? But um, yeah, it's a 1975 Datsun. My name is Charles Wallen and I drive a 1975 Datsun 260Z. So my uncle from New South Wales came up and he was raving about this Datsun that he, he'd purchased. Uh, he just loved it and he showed me photos and I just couldn't believe, I just something about it, it was like, oh, it's, just, it's just, I was like, what is this car, I have to have it. So I just started trolling YouTube and Google and hours and hours just trying to work out what my ultimate Z would be. When I started the project, I, I thought I'd just have a nice streeter with an RB in there. I saw a forum that had a Datsun with an RB and I thought that's what I want. I got it as a, a rolling shell, rusty, original paint from a guy in Melbourne. And that's where it all started, put on a rotisserie. Three years later, we've got the RB in there, the full Arizona Z car suspension kit. We've got the Willwood six piston brakes, hydraulic handbrakes. We've got a high comp RB26 running a Motec. Um, I can keep rattling it off. We got it, the whole interior has been done. Um, at the moment, we've just got the RB25 box in there, gearbox, R200 diff, CAS two-way, billet drive shafts. It's E85 tuned. It's an endless list and I could go on for hours about it. <laughs> Such a uh, the look, you know, when you pull out on the road, up in the hills, you look at the outside, it looks phenomenal. You pop the hood, it looks amazing. You know, you put it up on a hoist and it's just as nice under there. Um, there's nothing that I can really pinpoint that I love about it, but the way it just snakes around the hills and the acceleration and braking, um, you know, this thing accelerates so fast, brakes so well, it's light, it's noisy, it's, it's not comfortable, you know, it's, it's, it's a street registered race car. People will say, oh, it's not a 240Z, which is kind of ironic because the shape is identical. It's a two-seat, um, you know, some say they're a little bit rarer than the 240s. Uh, but for one, yeah, uniqueness, you know, you never see them on the road. You go to a car show, there'll never, ever be one there. You pull up and the whole crowd will start walking over to the car. You know, it doesn't matter what's there. It could be R34s, nice Sylvia's any other sort of car classic and you know people just swarm this car they they love it they don't know they've never seen them before they, they've seen them on youtube and google they know they're a classic jap but when they see one in this good a presentation they can't help but come and look they all want to know about it they're all uh, asking questions and that's awesome you know it's just like appreciation for what you've done appreciation for the time and money you've put into it um, but yeah, satisfying, just the thrill of the acceleration, the sound of the RB motor, it's, it's, it's like nothing else. A lot of guys do them white, but I chose the pearl paint, black flares. It's definitely an aggressive look, but it still sort of pays tribute to the more classic look of the car. So that's why it's unique to me. It's not, it's not too crazy, but it's, it's very unsuspicious. You could look at it driving down the road and you go, that's just a nice classic, but you know, you'd leave a Porsche or Ferrari in the dust any day. So that's the cool part about it. Best memory of the car was probably the engine rebuild and the process with uh, a guy down in Victoria by the name of Peter McDonnell. He, you know, I've never dealt with such a professional and the engine is a tribute to that. You know, the power it makes on what bolt-ons and boost levels it's making, it's just a passionate, motor and you can see just with the finish i mean he drove from melbourne to queensland to deliver it by hand to me uh, so the engine part of the car was definitely the best memory so far i mean it's only been driving in this form for a few weeks um, so still plenty of memories to make but um i was just down at the track last night and racing cars back and forth and uh, there wasn't too many that were passing me, that's for sure. Well, there wasn't any for the night, so yeah, that was, that was, that was the first of many good memories.
I don't think my family would let me sell it. <laughs> Financially, it owes me too much money. I'd never get it back. This car is only going to get more desirable. You know, I see myself as an old guy sitting in a shed, my dog just staring at it, just enjoying looking at it. Um, just knowing that I, you know, in my younger years, I built this car from scratch. You know, it's the first project I've ever done. Um, very attached to it. You know, it's uh, it drove me and my wife to and from my wedding. Um, it's just, yeah, it's got too much sentimental value. Even at this point, it's three years in my life. It's too much sentimental value to ever let go and I, I don't see myself ever selling the car. There's nothing about it I would change, there's nothing more I would do aesthetically or cosmetically. It is, yeah, it's the ultimate Z for me, that's for sure.